Greetings fellow Salt Ancestors and welcome to another video on solo RPGs. Today I want to talk to you about Mud, a Golem's Memoir by... Sorry, I looked it up earlier. There we go. By Anna Schaefer and Evan Rowland. Uh, this uh, role-playing game, I don't know. This book is almost its own genre. I guess it, it comes closest, in my opinion, to a choose-your-own-adventure book, uh, but it has no encounter resolution system and no prompt system. So you don't need a deck of cards, you don't need a dice, you do need a pen. Uh, that's it. You need this book and a pen. And then you go through the story and you make some choices. And this is going to be a short video. Not that there's not a lot to talk about with this, but it's it's almost weird to make a video about it because honestly, I feel it's something that you really have to experience and I don't want to spoil it. So I'll show the first tiny, tiny little bit just so you have an idea of what it's about. Uh, but before I go any further with that, I will say that this going through this zine was a very deep and emotional experience, uh, far exceeding what I was expecting. Uh, it's just very moving. It's, it's going through something and it's very, very moving. So uh, to begin, this is basically your character sheet. So your golem here. Uh, you've been given a purpose and you'll fill in these things. Uh, I sleep, I do not sleep, but I dream. And these are the dreams you might choose. And I have a claim to beauty and there's different options here. And as, as the game progresses, you may cross them out. You might get new one, whatever. And we also have thoughts. And these you actually cross if you as a player do something, I'll say for real, not just in your head, like you actually do something. So uh, we'll read the intro here. Mud is a story about a golem. In Jewish folklore, the golem is an animated construct made from mud or clay. Tales of Golems examine questions of personhood and monstrousness. In this story, the Golem will sometimes discover new purpose, claim to beauty, or new dreams. When that happens, come back here and write those on the sheet to the left. The Golem moves slowly. You're welcome to read slowly as well. Take breaks, pause whenever it feels right. Please note, the story explores themes of feeling out of place in one's body and contains imagery suggestive of self-harm. Sometimes the story will provide prompt to perform a special activity called a thought. If you follow the prompt, you'll mark one of the thought bubble on the left. These are optional, but they will affect the end of the story. Here's the first one. When you're ready, close your eyes and take a slow breath in. Imagine this is your first breath ever. Exhale, then open your eyes. If you take that first breath, fill in a thought either way. Turn the page and continue on. So again, these are sort of like markers. So I, I did do this, like I started the thing and I started to imagine if I were a golem waking up right now and what would my first breath feel like? And I took it physically in my current, like not in my head, in my body, took that breath and opened my eyes. Um, so I, I filled in that little dot bubble here for having done this. So there's weird, not weird, there, there's um, interesting markers in this story to get you to experience something physically as well as mentally as elements of the story and i think this really drives home the feeling this is trying to evoke so i will just slow back a bit here and talks about the themes of feeling out of place in one's own body and contains imagery suggesting of self-harm um, definitely heed that uh, warning if these are trigger points for you like this is relevant uh, i almost feel like it it needed some kind of disclosure for just not just feeling out of place in one's body also feeling out of place in the world i would say you know like if if you struggle with teams of acceptance and that sort of thing like this this might tr be triggering a bit in my opinion but again i say triggering in a thoughtful way poetic way but sad way but again depending on where you are you know you may not want to revisit those kinds of feelings so i'm just putting it out there and again, I'm going to give you the first page uh, so you can see how the game unfolds. So we explained the thought, how you do something physical, and there's different things as the story unfolds. But I want to show you what it looks like. So this book is, generally speaking, imagery like this. Uh, so you start stuff in the black, and then there's some writing, then it's all blurry, and then you see your hands as a golem, and you wake up in this 
is home. And there's picture and you go, this is me. Everything I am not, I will create you, in you. No blemishes, no every years weighing on you. You will be beautiful. Your existence will be simply a miracle. And then they say, add purpose to, uh, to purpose, add exhibit the miracle of my existence. So again, purpose would be exhibit the miracle of my existence. So you could write that in this thing here and it might change, it might stay as they can continue. I'll give you one more page just so you can see. It continues that way. Uh, so there's imagery. The game encourages you to pause, to think about the things. It doesn't give you the image of everything that you'll encounter. For example, say like you're going beyond what does it look like, that sort of thing. And then you continue to build. This is not a journaling game. You don't have to write anything. This is very much like you're reading it, but you're reading it, I'll say thoughtfully. Like I'm a speed reader. I diagonal read all of the time. Uh, in between the graphic novel look of this and the pacing of it, uh, it takes longer than it ought to, <laughs> to be honest, to go through the book. And it's, uh, like I said, the emotional journey was honestly stellar. Like I am in absolute awe of this experience. Uh, I don't know how easy it to get a printed copy, uh, but I, sorry, this is Mandy, gave it to me. I kind of want my own. Like, not that this is a high replay affair. This was just a very moving, exceedingly well executed type of experience that I actually don't have a parallel for. Like I said, there's some choose your own adventure option. There's moments where you can, you know, take the physical prompt or not. And that affects the ending of the story, but it's, it's just, it's wow. Like, it's actually wow. Like, I, I know. it's so hard to describe. Uh, it's very simple. Like I said, no dice, no card, a pen to write the character sheet, no journal. Uh, I think this is available electronically, actually. So, and it's it would be good for that because, again, you're, you're not flipping back and forth. You're reading in a very linear way other than the character sheet, but you could have that separately. And, uh, yeah, I, Wow. Wow for experience, wow for being everything that I think indie designers should do, which is just come up with something completely out there, very new, something that is a very good experience. Uh, it's, it's thoughtful, it's well done, the images are beautiful, the writing is interesting, it's evocative, the system, again, while there's no encounter resolution, the whole like pause and get the thought bubble filled in or don't uh, matter. They really do matter. So, uh, yeah, so that's, I guess that's all I can say without spoiling it further. Uh, and I don't know if that's enough for you to believe me that you should absolutely check this out. Uh, but if you'd be interested in going on the journey of exploration, a deep journey of exploration about being an other in a complicated world, but being born, I'll say pure in a way, <laughs> and then running into the world and trying to define yourself you know, through the eyes of others and then through your own eyes at the same time. Like it just, it's, yeah, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing and put a smile on my face. This was a breath of fresh air to me. You know, like I, I go through a lot of games. I don't review them all um, because like I said, I do love indie design and if I don't like them, I don't want the only review on the internet to be negative for me because it might just not be my thing. Uh, so I know it sounds like I'm always saying I love everything that I play because that's what I do. I only review things I like. But this is like, ah, 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 like 10 out of 10, chef's kiss, like amazing. God, not in a playful way, not in a like creative way, in a like emotional way. It's an emotional journey, not a mental one, I guess is what it comes down to. And now I'm rambling, so I'm just going to stop talking. Uh, but I encourage you. If any of that sounds good, or if you just take my word for it, I don't know, go on a leap. It's available, I'll, I'll put the link in the description probably. I think it's on uh, itch.io, itch.io. And uh, yeah, consider it. Strongly, strongly recommend. This is like a thing that you should do, absolutely. If you don't mind the trigger warning that I discussed. All right, leaving you for real. Ciao.